All right, so a fuel pump showed up today and we're running out of daylight. So we're gonna try to get this pulled out and we'll get it in the garage and we'll replace the pump. I doubt we'll get it back in tonight. Maybe tomorrow we can get it back in when we have some daylight and test it. So since this thing's already obviously been out once before, cause this would have a band type clamp like that. This is the one we pulled off for the test. Just need to loosen that. I'll have to come up with, I'll have to come up with a screw type hose cut. Apparently we have an EVAP problem too, because it shouldn't push pressurized fuel like that out of the tank. Alright, I got the cap loosened. Sprayed this nasty old gas everywhere. So we have to cut. Uh oh, lost the hose. Alright, it's right there. Have to cut this clamp. And there's no easy way to do that. Nice. That was probably the easiest one that's ever come off for me. Cut that. Shove that one out of the way. Unplug it. I remember how this plug. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Good. Okay, there's our sending unit and fuel pump. And that thing is in rough shape. And I wish you could smell this gas because it's pretty nasty. All right, we'll get in the garage and get this in the uh, bench and we'll switch this thing out. Got our new pump here. Looks the same, so it's gonna fit. I did notice when it came out that this hose was totally rotted off right here, which I think is some anti-vibration thing. So we'll verify it. It looks right. I think all these are pretty much the same. Um, let's unclip it and make sure our electrical connection is the same, which it'll click on. So I think we're good. Now we've got to get this mess off here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip this clamp right up here, kind of like I did in the car. It's one of those band clamps. You kind of just have to gnaw those things off. You know, let me see if this one will come off. I'm get, yeah, look, broke the pump off. So even if this thing was only pouring out in there for 20 bucks, it's gone. Now let's try to get this little connection off here. Cut. All right, so there we go. Now I need to look through my junk drawer and find a short piece of hose and find enough clamps where I can make up this little short piece 
and get it all back together. We'll bring you back when I've got some parts. Okay, I found a, some parts, fuel hose, some clamps in my junk drawer. Um, this whole apparatus was kind of in here. Part of it broke off with the pump. So, I'm going to cut about, about an inch and a half piece of hose. And we'll piece this thing together. It says fuel hose, not for fuel injection, but I mean this is low pressure and I think we'll be safe. Go ahead and, of course it's standard size, so it may not quite fit on this metric bar, but I believe we can make it work. And yes, if I was like restoring this car to concourse condition, I would probably replace this whole fuel sending unit, but this isn't exactly a concourse type car. Let me roll this clamp around so the plug will fit. Okay, that's all there is to it. So, hopefully tomorrow, when we got daylight left, we'll get this thing back in the car and test it out. Okay, so we got the pump installed with the sending unit last night, and of course, we got a little head easier, a little earlier start tonight, so we got some light. We're not dealing with a flashlight. We shoved this rag in here last night to keep asphyxiating everybody. This is gas smells nasty. Um, and I guess I was wrong. This is a metal tank. What I can see down there doesn't look too rusty, but this gas smells absolutely horrible. And I've got too much of a collection of bad gas now. If I have much more around, the EPA is going to, uh, going to stop by. So I'm going to try to burn some of this out of here. But anyway, let's get the pump back in and make sure it runs first. And this is just a pain to get in there. You gotta kind of snake it through all these openings. I know it'll go in there. off. Let's get that back on there. The other strainer might have been a little different shape. It seems like they're a little bit different on every one of them. Let's try and pull them that way. There we go. Alright. Let's get the return tube back in. Smeared a little uh, motor oil on that O-ring on the bottom to help seal it. Now let's get the notches lined up underneath. Okay, that looks better. Does that look about how it was? I think it's close enough. Okay, so fish to the junk drawer and found one more hose clamp. Let's 
snugged up a little bit. Okay. Now let's not lose it under the car. sure I turn this the right way so the little access door will go on properly. Let's see if we have gas gauge. Alright, it's coming up. So, sending unit survived. I'm going to try to crank it. It's in neutral, parking brakes on. Started a thousand times better, better than it did last time. <laughs> 